In this portion, we'll talk about the window pull down. So let's go ahead and click on it. Here's where you can go, come in here and actually open up multiple views. So if we want to open up another view, we can open up view two. Now we have two views opened up. We kind of demonstrate that this in the previous section where we did a window area where you can apply it to view one or view two or whatever. So if you want multiple views opened up, you can do that. That works out really good if you have dual screens or if you just want two views opened up where you may have your master drawing shown on view one but on view two have it to where you can zoom in and zoom out and so forth but keep that original view of everything in view one you can also cascade them if you have two views open up which does just like that right here if we can tile them you can tile them where you have view one over here view two and so forth you can also arrange them if you have more views opened up also it's whatever option that you want to use this one right here is your scroll bars that's another way of navigating in your file so if I do a fit view on this one and a fit view on this one or maybe I zoom into a certain area maybe on view one and I come in here you got your scroll bars which are these right here where you can navigate and pan inside your drawing kind of similar to what the pan tool does in your action in your view command toolbar now if they're not being shown or you don't want them to be shown you can uncheck that scroll bars and it will turn them off in your views so just kind of keep that in mind if you want those turned on or turned off I'm not going to worry about the task navigation in the in the views which if you turn that on you'll see that you'll have task instead of your views so we'll go ahead and uncheck that and also your view toolbar you can actually turn that view toolbar off if you don't want it on so if you uncheck that you'll see that you don't have any views and now you just have your scroll bar so if that accidentally gets turned off you know where that's at so that's the options underneath your windows also through here you'll have what items that you have opened up which tools or views right now we have view 1 and view 2 opened up which are these two right here and also your element selection tool this comes in handy if you accidentally or purposely minimize a certain tool or even a window so let's say I minimize window or view 1 or view 2 and maybe I come in here and maybe I want to open it back up uh, maybe I couldn't find it okay you can come in here I'll minimize it you can come in here and click on the the restore up which will restore it back up or let's say we close it down and we maximize our view one and let's say we're using a certain tool maybe the play smart line tool and I want to zoom into a certain area so I come in here and I minimize it okay and then I come in here and I zoom in I come back and I, I click on my smart line tool and nothing happens I don't see my actual tool out here or if I go to another tool you'll see that I click on it but that particular dialog box for that tool doesn't come up well since you minimized it we need to bring it back up and there's two ways you can do this one way is to go to the window pull down and select that particular tool that you have opened up and it will bring it back up or let's we'll say you minimize it you can also come down to your microstation icon and if you hover over top of it it's going to show you two things that you can minimize or open back up one thing is the actual DGN file and also what tool that you have minimized which is which is this place smart line tool so if you click on it it will bring it back up to where it's the active tool that you can see all the options and so forth so there's a couple different ways you can do that if you minimize a certain tool. Come to your window, pull down, select it, or come down below here and grab it here also. Also through here on your view command you have your view attributes. So if you click on it, you got some different options underneath here. You can apply it to whatever view that you have opened up. You have multiple views opened up 
you can apply it to those we just have view one opened up right now so we'll just leave it set you can apply it to open views so if you have multiple views opened up and you want to apply it to all those views you can do that or you can apply it to selected views which are the ones that you have selected inside here since we just have one open up which is probably going to be the most common anyway we'll just leave it set to view one you have your display styles which is wireframe we're not going to talk about any of those there are some that says hidden fill illustrate and so forth those deal with more of the 3d portions of you have of a 3d file so we're not going to talk about that in this section right now but also you have a bunch of different options that you can turn on or turn off for your view and the most common ones that are turned on are these ones that are tur currently turned on by default but you can turn those off and on at your own leisure depending on what you want to show so let's take for instance maybe constructions you have some stuff underneath the, the construction attribute and you want to turn those off you could do that nothing was placed underneath there so nothing's going to happen probably a common one that gets turned on that you may want to turn off is this one right here that says line weights so if you open up a file and all your lines look really thick and so forth this is where you could turn that particular attribute off so if you click on it it turns it off simple as that same thing for your patterns or your text maybe you're coming in here and doing a measurement on something and the area is filled with a hatch pattern and you want to turn that pattern off but you want to keep it with the drawing you just want to temporarily turn that pattern off you can click on that pattern and it will turn that particular pattern off if it is a pattern we don't have anything in this file, so nothing's going to show, but hopefully you get the, kind of the idea. Or dimensions. Let's say you're got a drawing that has a bunch of dimensions on it, and you want to turn those dimensions off temporarily. You can turn that particular attribute off, or even text. We come in here and we turn off text. You look at the file and turn all your text off inside your file. So that's what your view attributes allow you to do. Kind of gives you an option of how you want to see the drawing and so forth while you're working with it.